Hey everybody, Carissa Wright here, broker at Coastal Legacy Realty Group here in PV in the South Bay. And today I wanna do a little quick driving tour through Dapple Gray Lanes in Rolling Hills Estates. So really cute little community right here off of PV Drive North, um, adjacent to Rolling Hills, just right across the way there. This is a little tiny neighborhood, three streets, so Dapple Gray, Buckskin, and Sorrel, and we're gonna drive through each of them. And this neighborhood is notorious for being an equestrian neighborhood, access to trails. Um, I believe every property is zoned equestrian, so you can have horses, and most properties have a stable or barn on them as well. And um, all right, let's go check it out. All right, turning on to Dapple Gray Lanes. You can see here, look how cute the Halloween decorations are. Such a cute little neighborhood. And let's see, we're gonna pull, coming down Dapple Gray Lane. And you can tell it's very much a little horse community. Oh, guy on the tractor. Cute little homes all tucked in. The lots are really deep, and so a lot of times the houses are way back which is nice, provides for a lot of privacy. And turning on to buckskin now. A little speed bump, maintain speed in here, keep it nice and slow so people aren't speeding through, which is great. And you can see all the houses are very different, all custom built, so you know, no two are like, no track homes, all very unique. And you can tell it's an older neighborhood, but it's been updated over the years. I would say younger families are coming in, there's a little trail right there, a little horse trail. Younger families are coming in and buying the houses and remodeling and realizing what great value there is in this neighborhood. You can walk to the elementary school, which is Dapple Gray. And it's just such a sweet little quiet neighborhood back here. Very private, horse trail access, barns on your property, all zoned. Um, I believe all properties are zoned for horses. Pretty pepper trees lining the street. Oh, look at those cool Halloween decorations. Love those. Doing lots of work in here right now, adding all these speed bumps in, which is great. one that's been remodeled recently. And these are cul-de-sacs, so it's a dead end, which is great, no through traffic. Going to come to the end here and turn back around. Approaching the dead end. Oh, look, there's a peacock. Hey, little buddy. Lots of peacocks in here. So, something to keep in mind. Some people love the peacock, some people don't. And here's a, there's a trail here. Oh, look, wait, you see, you can see downtown Los Angeles. Look at that. So clear today. Wow, so beautiful. Hey, little friend. He's so cute. Okay. All right, I'm gonna circle back this way and head down Dapple Gray to the end next. There's another trail right there. All right, now we are back to Dapple Gray. 
and you know the houses all look very similar to how they were on buckskin i would say maybe dapple grays developed a little bit more but not a ton um, and i'll drive you by a house that sold recently here this is great i love that they're adding the speed bumps that makes such a nice difference Oh, that one is so cute. The pink door. Love that. Let's see. So this one sold recently, 58 Dapple Gray, and that one actually sold for, let's see. So that one actually sold for over 4 million, it was 4.3 I believe, and it is 4,300 square foot on almost an acre, it was like 0.8 acres. So big house, big lot, um, remodeled, but not, I would say like, like kind of an older remodel, not brand, brand new remodel, but to give you an idea of pricing here in the neighborhood. Oh wow, look at this one, big one, it's brand new. All right, let's finish up through here. We'll get down to the dead end, and then we'll go check out Sorrel on the way back. Some smaller houses too, not all huge. Oop, okay, here we are at the dead end and back to the trail here. All right, so I'm gonna turn around and we're gonna head over to Sorrel Lane. All right, turning on to Sorrel Lane now. This is one of the smaller streets, I'd say, out of Dapple Gray Lane's neighborhood. And look at that. Look at that FedEx truck. That is cool. Electric. Oh, this is such a sweet little street. Look how beautiful the homes are, all tucked back, lots of trees. And again, another dead end here on Sorrel. Look how beautiful. Right, so this one is um, under contract right now. It's an escrow. It was listed at two million. So I don't know what it's going to sell for, but this is 26 Sorrel Lane. It's a four bedroom, about 2,600 square foot on, I think, 0 0.2, 0 0.2 acres. So a little less than a quarter of an acre. And it'll be interesting to see what it'll sell for. It um, definitely needs, you know, looks like a cosmetic fixer from the photos. And we will try to make this turn here and head back out. So... All right, that is it for our Dapple Gray Lanes tour. Ooh, a little close to my head there. Um, oh, look at all the peacocks. Look at them all. Can you see all those peacocks? Oh, they're so cute. Look at the little buddies. That is it, you guys, for my Dapple Gray Lanes tour. I wish I could take you into one of these properties, but there's nothing active, but it would be great to show you what it looks like to how like long and deep the lots are and a lot of them, like I said, have barns and stables in the back and access to the riding trails. So very, very heavily equestrian oriented city. 
in my opinion, I don't think it smells like an equestrian, or not city, sorry, a equestrian neighborhood. But a lot of times I find my clients are concerned about the smell. I don't think it smells that bad over here. Obviously it's more of an acquired smell, something you get used to, but considering it is an equestrian area, I think it's pretty light on the fragrance, to be honest with you. So great option if you want walkability to the elementary school and a little bit more land and privacy, but yet still a little neighborhood community feel. There's an HOA here that you can be involved in, which is great if you like you know, being involved in your neighborhood. So I really like this part of Rolling Hills Estates. I think it's kind of a nice little hybrid neighborhood where, you know, privacy, but still community feel. And that is it, you guys. Thanks for checking it out. And please hit subscribe. Let me know what your thoughts are if you've ever been down this part of Rolling Hills Estates. If you like Dapple Gray Lanes or not. Thanks.